Hey everybody, Andrew Fantasia here. Welcome to Casual Friday here on Digital Charcuterie. This is gonna be really, really quick Casual Friday because I gotta head out to a wedding very soon. But uh, I wanted to sneak in at least our little weekly episode while we can. Don't forget to hit the bell and like and subscribe and do all the things that YouTube says you have to do to play their silly games. Today, we're just going to be talking about scrolls and some specific scrolls because we had a question from a fan in an email. Alana, Alana wrote in and asked, this may be out of line, but do you think anyone major could be a scroll? And I don't mean Rhodes. First of all, Alana, you're not out of line whatsoever. That's a very valid question. Uh, so could anybody major be a scroll, exempting Rhodes from the equation? And my, I would say my answer slash my opinion is that I hope not. I really hope not, man, because uh, that, that's the thing with this whole secret invasion story is I'm not a fan of the the scroll thing personally. Just as a storyteller, I don't like it because it undermines character development. It It's designed to undermine character development. It's designed to say, hey, this person, this, you know, Jane, this lady you've been following for six movies or whatever, it's not really Jane, it's an alien. I don't like that because you take all the, the hard work, the storytelling, the character arcs that have been being followed all throughout the MCU and you just undermine it for a cheap little moment of somebody going like this, mm, doesn't do it for me. Unless it was designed from the beginning of the story, which I think it's safe to say is not the case. I'm pretty sure Favreau didn't sit down to uh, you know, work on the script for Iron Man 1 and decide that people would be scrolls from day one because that's just not how it works with this particular franchise. At least I don't think so. I'd be very impressed if it was the other way around, but I, I don't think that's how it works. So anybody major showing up to the game and being like, oh, surprise, I'm an alien, that would be just... I, there's no other way to say it. That would be bad storytelling. That would be just shock value storytelling that undercuts a lot of actual hard work and good storytelling. So I don't want to see that. I don't want to see a world where we get, um, you know, Thor or, or, or somebody big like that saying, nope, scroll, because then why, why have we been caring about their arcs? all these years, right? If you're just going to do that. Um, with Rhodes, there, I mean, with anybody, really, with anybody major, the only way you could do it without undermining their stories is literally to have it be, you know, the whole time we've seen them, they've been normal, except you know, between the last time we saw Nick Fury and now he's a scroll. That's it. And that's probably what they'll end up doing. But then... Again, it's not very effective, so what's the point? That's why I was baffled when they announced Secret Invasion as a show, because the whole conceit of it, at least from the comic that I remember, is to have the shock value of, wow, that person I've been following for so long isn't really that person, and that just doesn't fly here. It can't. It can't fly here. So when they announced it, I was like, how are they going to do this and make it good and make it not crappy and not stupid and not just for the shock value. So that's the long-winded explanation as to why I don't care for it and why I don't want it to be the case. But if somebody major is going to be in there and it's not going to be Rhodes, maybe, maybe we might be looking at a situation where it's not an Avenger, but like somebody close to them, like a Jimmy Woo kind of character. Um, somebody who you could technically forgive because their character development is not really front and center as much as the more major characters are. So I don't think we're going to get that kind of reveal on this show. I just don't think it's possible while maintaining the integrity of the universe they've built. But crazier things have happened. So who knows? I, I hope I'm not proven wrong, though, in this case, because that, that just wouldn't make for a very fun show for me. 
Um, but I do hope that the show leads into the Marvels because we are playing on the same sandbox. And who knows, maybe we'll get some kind of uh, reveal or at least tie-in story with Carol or with Monica. But I'm not holding my breath yet. This has been a very different, isolated show. So we'll see. But anyway, I hope that answers your question, Alana. And I hope that uh, I hope that does it for Casual Friday today, folks. I know, I'm sorry, it's a very, very short episode. But things are happening today outside of my control. I'm not the one getting married. Uh, but next week, we should be back for our regularly scheduled programming. Until then, may you be the masters of your own universe.